Welcome back, beautiful family. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious, easy, healthy, with ingredients that you could find in any supermarket, spinach patties filled with cheese that I know you guys are going to love, or as I called it, tortitas de espinacas. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. to start by rinsing through running water my spinach i am gonna make sure that i rinse them really well under running water and when this is done remove the excessive water and now let me show you i am only going to remove the little edges i am going to remove the little edges and then just chop them just like that look at this I am gonna continue with the rest of the spinach, just removing the edges so that we obtain all those amazing flavors and vitamins of the spinach. Look at this. Now I'm gonna continue with the onion and I'm just gonna cube the onion, cut it in medium sized pieces. And then I'm gonna continue with the garlic cloves. Let me tell you, adding the onion and the garlic is really going to give the spinach patty such a amazing and delicious flavor. The onion is ready. Now I'm gonna continue with the garlic cloves. I love smashing them first and then dicing them in very small little pieces. This is the recipe that my kids really love here at home, making these amazing spinach patties in this delicious red sauce. Of course, once you've diced it really good, put it in a plate and then we are ready, ready to start cooking the onion and the garlic and of course, making our patties. I'm gonna first add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Into that, I'm gonna start with the onion. Once the onion starts caramelizing and releasing the flavor and the aroma, then I'm gonna add the garlic the diced garlic into it. I'm gonna add it in here, saute in it for about four more minutes. And once it starts turning a little bit brown, then I am ready to remove. Remove every single little bit. Look at this. Of course, all the flavor is still in the pan and I'm going to add into this pan the spinach so that spinach really takes away all those flavors from the pan absorbs all those delicious flavors of the onion and the garlic i know it looks like it's a lot of spinach but once it starts cooking it reduces very small spinach you're gonna see how much it reduces and this is actually real time so that you could see how fast the spinach reduces. Once you have cooked your spinach and it's nice and tender, then only cook it for about three to four minutes. And now I am going to remove it and add it to a, a, a strainer. But the most important part, do not throw the liquid away. We are going to use the liquid that comes out of the spinach. Don't throw it away because we're gonna use it for our delicious tomato sauce that we are going to combine. Once this is done, I'm gonna put that aside and now I am ready to start adding the flavors to the spinach. Adding the mozzarella cheese. I added one cup of mozzarella cheese. I am going to add two or three eggs, but first I'm gonna add two. If it's just coating the spinach and the ingredients really good, then I don't need to add a third egg. You do not want it really runny. Of course, to this mixture, I am going to add the onion and the garlic. Oh my God, 
this just smells delicious. I am going to incorporate it really good. And now that it's nice incorporated, I'm going to start making a delicious and simple sauce for my spinach patties. I have the tomatoes here. I'm going to use four tomato, Roma tomatoes. I'm going to add them to my blender. I'm going to add the juice of the spinach, one tablespoon of black pepper and salt to taste. And then I am ready to mix and blend really good. Once this is nice and blended, I am going to put it aside. And now I am ready to start making my patties. I'm adding about two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and now I'm ready to start spooning in the spinach. Look at this. My patties started sticking to the pan, so I had to switch pans. And let me show you. Look how delicious they look. Look how amazing they look. Okay, once they are golden brown from both sides, then you are ready to remove and plate it. I am going to slowly start putting them in a the plate. As you could see, I didn't use too much oil to brown the patties, but that's exactly how you want it. Of course, in the same pan, I am going to add the delicious and easy sauce we made. I'm going to add it in here. I'm going to cook the sauce for about five minutes at medium heat until it starts getting nice and thick. Once it's cooked down, and you could see that it has cooked down, has reduced, I'm going to taste it. If it needs more salt, I'm going to add a little bit to my tasting. This is great. And now the sauce is ready. You could add your patties directly into the sauce, or you could just... Add the sauce right on top. And here I want to show you, I made Mexican corn rice. And of course, this recipe, you already have it on my channel. This rice comes out fluffy, delicious, and the corn was just amazing. I'm going to go ahead and start adding the delicious sauce, tomato sauce on the sides. And if you got to this part of the video and you like and you love this recipe, leave me a thumbs up. Share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives. So Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Make this amazing spinach and cheese patties. You're going to love them. I am ready for the presentation. I'll see you in a bit. completely done with this amazing spinach and cheese patties of course i added some mexican corn rice that i know that you guys are going to love and you already have it on my channel that amazing recipe of the rice with corn but this is the part i really love and enjoy tasting my recipes delicious easy to prepare and healthy excuse me mmm mmm scrumptious these spinach patties always come out delicious and with this rice perfection made at home mm. let me tell you you need to make this amazing recipe you're going to fall in love with it mm. if you liked and loved this amazing recipe i invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated so every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love.
I love you guys. Thank you for always being here and being part of my family. I will stay enjoying these amazing spinach and cheese patties. Like, subscribe, and share. And see you on my next amazing recipe. Bye-bye.